Hey guys, this is Travis Sellian and welcome to Yin Yoga Paradise. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below and click on the link at the top of the comment section so that I can hook you up with three of my favorite classes. All right, I'll see you on the mat. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on our backs. Go ahead and recline all the way back, bringing the bottoms of the feet together for reclining butterfly. Soles of the feet touch, toes forward, knees out, and you can always place two blocks underneath your outer hips and your outer knees if that's more comfortable for you. Place one hand on the belly, one hand over top the chest, the heart. Feel free to close the eyes as you begin to drop into your practice and making the most of these 30 minutes that we have together to practice yin by instantly allowing the events of the day to fade away, especially if it's been an extra busy or chaotic, stressful day for you. See if you can just let the events go. Give your, yourself permission that you deserve this practice, that you deserve to slow down, to balance out the nervous system, to recharge and to reset in the deepest of ways. In a few moments, we'll begin to breathe together. Take a deep inhale through the nose, fill the lungs up with breath. And then out the mouth, exhale, just let it all go. And then we'll begin. Inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale out the nose for four, three, two, one, pause there. Inhale for one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale out for four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale one, two, three, four, Hold. Exhale out for four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale out for four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale out for four, three, two, one, pause. Last round, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale out for four, Three, two, one, pause. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it all go. As you allow the breath to find its natural, effortless flow. Let the breath breathe you instead of you breathing it. Good. From here, reach the hands forward to the outer knees, close the legs, hug your knees, your thighs into the belly. Keep the right knee in, extend the left leg straight out in front of you along the floor. Open the right arm out to the right 
and then take the right knee into a twist all the way across over to the left. And if you want, you can even grab a block. You can place the block right underneath your inner right knee. Option to stay here, or you can bend your left foot in, reach down and grab it with your right hand for a cat pulling its tail. Allow the right shoulder blade to heavily draw downward as you give your whole lower back a nice deep stretch along with that inner right chest and inner right shoulder. So throughout this practice, we'll be holding these poses for about two to three minutes each, just long enough to get into the connective tissues and the deep fascia around the spine, the hips, the inner thighs, the groin. So by the end of this practice, the end of this class, your body will feel rejuvenated, refreshed in the deepest of ways. So kick back and just allow this wonderful world of yin yoga to work its magic on you, your body, your nervous system, your mind, in your heart. Have that tail, go ahead and release the left leg back all the way back up to neutral. Draw both knees, both thighs back into the belly. Plant the feet flat on the ground, about the width of the hips. Arms extend out towards straight as we set up for a bridge flow. On an inhale, lift your hips, lift your belly, reach the arms all the way up overhead. And then on the exhale, reverse that, slowly lowering the lower back, sacrum and hands down. And then on your own, just continue a few more cycles, just linking and sinking the breath, the movement, and your mind. Next time your lower back and your arms return back onto the mat, hold there. Draw the knees back into the belly. Extend your right leg forward along the mat. Splay the left arm out to the left. Take the right knee all the way across over to the right. And again, feel free if you want to grab your prop. Place that underneath that inner left knee. Cat pulling its tail, variation as an option, bending the right foot in, reaching down, grabbing that with your left hand. And allowing that left shoulder to draw heavy down into the floor. Now I have a new Zen teacher, a new Zen master in my life. 
Her name is Willa, and she happens to be my one-year-old daughter. And she's my, my Zen master because every morning we go on a walk through the neighborhood. And any time I start rushing or jumping ahead, she screeches as loud as she can so the whole neighborhood can hear her, like an alarm bell going off. And it's a reminder to slow down, to be more mindful. Because very often she wants to investigate and explore curiosity of plants or flowers or a random sign on the side of the street. So I'm grateful for her reinforcing these teachings of slowing down, developing more presence, and being more fully where we are. As Voltaire said, paradise is where I am. Paradise isn't to be found on a beach in Hawaii or swimming in the ocean. Paradise is to be found right here, right now in this pose. See if you can find paradise throughout every moment of this practice, even the difficult ones. Or maybe you're in a difficult pose, or maybe your mind gets a little agitated or restless. To find paradise right where you are. Good, if you have your tail, release the right leg back out towards straight, bring the left knee all the way back up to neutral. Bend the knees back to the belly and gently begin to rock forward and backward, rocking yourself all the way up to seated. And then from here, we'll come into half butterfly pose. So left leg straight out in front of you. Sole of the right foot high up to that inner left leg, left thigh. Take an inhale, reach the arms up above. And then on the exhale, just begin to fold out over that left leg, just softening all the muscles that run along the spine. If we grip there, then we can't access the deeper tissues. Soften and relax, and if you want, you can always grab some blocks, placing that underneath the forehead so that the weight of your skull is supported and then your neck can release that much more.
last few breaths there. Nice, and then slowly exit out of the pose, taking your time, no hurries, no worries. Bring the right knee all the way back up to neutral. Extend the right leg forward. Same thing on the other side. So setting up by bringing the left sole all the way up to that inner right leg, right thigh. And then on the inhale, reaching those arms up, feeling that length through your side waist. And then on the exhale, just begin to hinge over and down to your own degree, remembering it's not a contest. It's not about how deep you can stretch into the pose. If anything, it's about how deep you can let go. It's about how deep you can drop in to the art of simply being and allowing. Allowing and trusting that you have an intelligence and a wisdom inside of you and it will bring you back to homeostasis, back to balance. If you get out of the way of your own ego, the need to get somewhere, the need to stretch. Beautiful, nice and easily begin to transition all the way back up. And then from here we're going to come into dragonfly pose. If you want to turn the body so that your legs open out and stay on your yoga mat, feel free to. Spreading the legs open and beginning to hinge over and down to your own degree here. So again, using those props, I have blocks underneath my elbows, but you could also use a bolster. You could create a tower to go underneath the forehead here, a tower of your blocks. But wherever you are, try and honor your edge in the sense that you're not going 100% to the fullest capacity, you're more at around 30, 40, 50% max. And then as you find, find your place in the pose. Feel free to close the eyes and bring that awareness inward. 
what lies before us and what lies behind us are tiny matters to what lies within us. Says Oliver Wendell Holmes. See if you can transcend past, future, planning, rumination, and explore what's happening within the field of sensation within your body, the thoughts like clouds moving across the sky of your awareness the waves and the currents of your emotions. And you'll notice that as you go within and you attune deeper and deeper to what it is that you're feeling, you have that recognition and deep understanding that everything that you could ever want is already within you. Paradise exists right here, right now. Last few breaths there. towards the front of the mat. Shake the legs out, shimmy and shake. And then from here, we'll keep the left leg extended straight. Grab the right foot, place it on top of your left knee. Fire log pose. So bend the left foot so it comes underneath your right knee. And option if you want, you can sit on top of a block here or you could even cross the right leg in front of the left leg. So instead of turning the video off because the pose feels so intense, modify the pose to your body to what feels right. Remember, it's not a contest. So you're adjusting these poses to you and your uniqueness, you and your anatomy. And this is an important one because it gets into the largest joint in the body where some of the largest bones and muscles intersect. So your hip, your femur, your piriformis, your glutes. It's a major intersection in the body and we wanna make sure that the crossroads here, that the link of this part of our bodily chain is strong, supple, resilient. So let that medicine seep deep, deep in. Now there was a monk who was newly transitioning into his time inside of a monastery, beginning to learn how to meditate. 
And his first several weeks were very, very frustrating. So he went to go see the teacher to express his, his frustration, saying how much his body ached and how uncomfortable it was, how torturesome the meditations were. His monkey mind was just jumping all over the place endlessly from one thought to the next. And his wise teacher looked at him and he said, don't worry this shall pass and not really understanding what the teacher meant he just continued to show up meditating day after day after day and after several more weeks had passed eventually he began to hit a stride within his meditation his body felt fine it felt amazing he would access these deep states of bliss and ecstasy and so he went to go see his meditation teacher and he reported, I finally understand meditation. I finally got it. It's so beautiful. And he described all these amazing experiences that he was having. And the wise teacher looked at him again and said, don't worry, this shall pass. So in this world of form, all things do pass. Everything has a beginning, a middle, an end. And the great yogis teach us to get off the roller coaster ride of the highs and the lows, to find steadiness within what we call equanimity, an equanimous mind. So when you're in a pose like this, you may feel intensity, you may feel a lot of sensation. Notice how the mind wants to judge it, to label it, to create drama and story and sometimes conflict around it. See, if you can move through these poses, the ones that you adore and the ones that you despise with a mind that remains steady and equanimous through it all, so you don't get attached to the things that you love, but you're also not repulsed by the things that are challenging and difficult. Because essentially, if you can do it within this practice, then you can bring that approach to how you live your life. Go ahead and ease your way all the way back up. Uncross the legs, feet flat on the mat, knees to the sky, hands behind you, some windshield wipers side to side. Nice little counter stretch to that deep hip stretch. Beautiful, right leg out straight. Grab your left foot, place it on top of your right knee, and then bend the right foot so it comes underneath the left knee, or find your modification. And then as you're ready, just begin to fold over and down to your own degree, whether that's one inch or one foot, find your place, and it might be a different experience from one side to the other, that's pretty common. See what it is that your body needs right here. and allow yourself to dissolve into paradise, the paradise of your breath and the paradise of this pose and all that it has to offer you.
Body nice and easily transition all the way back up. Uncross the legs. And as you're ready, windshield wiper side to side. Good, and then we'll come into our final resting pose, Shavasana, the corpse pose. Extend the legs out. And then go ahead and recline all the way down onto your back. Opening your legs, opening your arms out, taking up some space. Take a last deep inhale through your nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it all go. Shavasana. from here nice and easily bring your awareness back to the body as you lightly move the fingertips and the toes around draw those knees and those thighs back into the belly gently rock and roll yourself all the way back up to a final cross-legged seated position Bring the hands up to prayer position in front of the chest. Sit up tall, slightly bow the forehead down as you close those eyes. Giving gratitude to your practice for reminding you the importance of finding paradise where you are, right here, right now. And bringing that with you into the rest of your day and into the rest of your week. Much health. Much wealth, much love to you. Namaste. All right, I hope you enjoyed your yin yoga practice. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. If you're interested in learning more about yin yoga, check out my book, A Journey into Yin Yoga. And also, if you want to enroll in some yin yoga programs, check out Interdimension TV. I have an eight week in yoga course called Flexibility and Beyond. You can do a 10 day free trial to check it out and see if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for your practice today and I'll see you down the road.